This is an introduction to the audio tools in the Quantel editing software. Every timeline editor has the full range of audio editing features. Let's start by playing the sequence and make primary adjustments to the levels. The changes happen on the fly, there's no need to render. Now we'll select multiple segments and adjust the levels simultaneously. We can apply crossfades on a single track with this simple mouse movement. To record a voiceover, we add a new track like this. We'll solo it so that we don't hear the others during the recording, and the recording starts from the cursor position. In April 2011, Quantel Camera Crew was invited to witness a new Mauritius version racing car named the M3 R02 on track in Jerez, Spain for the Formula 1 pre-season winter testing. In April 2011, Quantel Camera Crew was invited We can use the advanced menus on the left to manage the output patching of the tracks. Named the M3 R02 on track in Jerez, Spain We've selected the voiceover to play in stereo from channels 1 and 2. We can insert audio keyframes with either mouse clicks or a keyboard shortcut and build a complex audio profile. In April 2011, Quantel Camera Crew was pre-season winter testing. There's another set of advanced menus at the right-hand end of the timeline. Here we can adjust levels segment by segment with a digital level display. On track in Jerez, Spain for the Formula 1 pre-season winter testing. We can also adjust the level of an entire track. In 2011, Quantel Camera Crew was invited to witness a new Mauritius version racing car named the M3 R02 on track in Jerez, Spain for the Formula 1 pre-season winter testing. We can increase the amplitude of the audio waveform display with this control, allowing us to visualize even low-level sounds. And we can finesse the edit by adding fade in and fade out to each track if we wish. In April 2011, Quantel Camera Crew was invited to witness a new Mauritius version racing car named the M3 R02 on track in Jerez, Spain for the Formula 1 pre-season winter testing. <laughs> 